Hi Aquarius, welcome to your November 2019 general tarot reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel, and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your experience today. For your first crowner, you have the Nine of Water. And it's clarified by death and the lovers. So the first thing that I heard when I was, you know, shuffling these cards and pulling them into a spread was, you know that song Love on the Brain by Rihanna? I'm just getting so much of that energy, guys. You have a lot of crowners in water, so I do feel like some of you guys are really thinking about your emotions this month, you know, taking a practical approach to love and your emotions. You know, I really do sense that some of you guys are transmuting a lot of fears into love, which is absolutely beautiful. That is the way to get over any kinds of fears. It's just transmuting it into love. You don't want to fuel that fire with, with fuel, you know what I mean? You want to put it out with water. So you want, what you're doing is you're putting out that fire of fear with the love of water. And you have so much water here in your spread. I do sense that, you know, if you're not particularly loving on someone else, I do sense that it's a lot of self-love, you know, just a lot of emotion, you know, feeling, lots of feeling this month. And, you know, that might be a little, um, you know, that might be a little new for you, Aquarius, because I do sense that, you know, that some of you guys are, you know, in a, you've been in a page of swords energy, very thoughtful, right? Much in the mind. You know, not so much dealing with your emotions. And now this, either there's a person here or just an event that sparks some sort of self-love. But I do feel like a lot of you, it is a person. Some of you have been trying to manifest a love situation with a particular person. Um, and I do sense that your wish comes true in November. And your concerns for life just fade away. I just feel like this person makes you feel so safe. You know what I mean? So connected so abundant as well. I just feel like a lot of physical gifts are being exchanged, lots of physical affection as well. But then you have the eight of water. You have the eight, nine, and 10 of water. So it's actually really, really amazing. And it's clarified by judgment and the sun. I feel like some of you guys are really finding something meaningful in your relationships, whether it's with a partner or whether it's with family or friends, you're just finding those meaningful connections. I do feel like there is a general air of forgiveness for something here. You could be forgiving somebody, um, possibly a Leo. I feel like some of you are having clarity about a call towards somebody. Like some of you guys maybe had walked away from somebody and you know, maybe you're feeling very called towards this person for whatever reason. Um, and I think some of you guys are finding clarity that this is indeed the person that you want to be with. This calling is for a reason. It's like that intuition is calling you to them. You know, some of you guys might be dealing with a deep, deep soulmate connection here. And I'm talking through lifetimes, lifetimes of connections with this person. But you do have 10 of water. Like I said, you have eight, nine, and 10. So I feel like you're really leveling up in your emotions. Maybe you feel like this is an upgrade, this particular person that you're dealing with. I feel like some of you are healing family situations too. A contented and rewarding family life. Some of you are laying some things to rest, really subconscious things, you know, letting them go, letting them die, you know, moving forward, moving forward quite quick too with this Knight of Swords at the end of the spread. I feel like a lot of you are really moving into healing this month. It's absolutely beautiful. You're just really transmuting energies. Lots of trust, lots of transparency too with this person, like lots of just honesty, complete and total transparency. And then look, you have the sun and the moon, guys. So I really feel like you're balancing yourselves out this month, especially with the lovers. You could be dealing with, you know, um, a divine counterpart type energy. And I don't always pick those up in my readings because I don't like to confuse people. Um, but if I do see a message for that, I will, you know, I will let you guys know.
but I do sense a very strong divine counterpart energy. Some of you guys are dealing with a divine counterpart, like some of you guys embody more of the, mascul the masculine energies, and then this person, or you, um, are more consisted of feminine energies, and you and this person come together for some sort of calling, some sort of higher calling. So even if it's like a friend or a coworker, like you might have a really good, um, like a team effort with somebody. You know what I mean? You work really well together. And some of you guys have some sort of higher calling with this person, whether it's a family member or a friend or a romantic partner. If not, I'm just sensing that some of you feel very called to this person. Like some of you feel very called to towards somebody here. You know, and I also sense that some of you are being really honest with yourself too. You know what I mean? Like some of you are forgiving yourselves for some things that you've really left deep within you, like subconscious, deep secrets. Like some of you guys have some, you know, maybe some things that you've been holding back from yourself or holding back from others. You know, not things that aren't disclosed, they're not discussed. And I do feel like there's a reason that you haven't discussed these things because maybe you're ashamed. You know what I mean? I do feel like there's some shame here. Um, you know that you've been dealing with and some of you guys are really going to be letting this go in the month of November you're going to be really honest with yourself I deserve happiness I deserve to be forgiven I'm going to forgive myself I deserve to be absolved of whatever it is that I've done because I'm only human whatever you know whatever you've been telling yourself but I do feel like there is this complete transmutation guys you have love and and death love and fear because oftentimes you know, death comes with fear because people are typically very fearful of death. So sometimes I see the death card as like fear with its counterpart love. You know, I have the sun and the moon. All I need is a king and queen. We got divine counterpart energy right here. Um, but the world card, as you have at the end of your spread, lots of transmutations, lots of transitions into new energies. I feel like, like I said, some of you guys are completely leaving something behind and just moving forward in love and peace and happiness. It's just really, really beautiful, Aquarius. This is honestly um, probably the most beautiful reading I've done so far. <laughs> Knight of Swords with the Page of Swords clarifying this world card. I feel like there's a lot of growth. I feel like you're communicating your ideas this month. You know, some of you guys may even be traveling. You may be traveling a lot this month, like maybe a couple of times or, you know, a few times. Just very fast, like you may be going from one place to another, to another, to another. You know, hopping on one flight and then getting off, staying somewhere for a couple days, hopping on another flight and, and so on, right? I feel like some of you guys are really fast moving this month. Just lots of things going on. Just lots of peace, lots of going deep within and, and cutting out all of that crap that makes you feel stressed or anxious. You know, this Four of Swords is just giving me, oh, it's giving me such an energy of just peace. Laying something to rest, not using those swords to fight anymore. You know what I mean? Not using them to fight whatever it was, you know, creating resistance. You're using those swords to cut away the resistance. By speaking your truth, by living in your truth, by being true to yourself. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like some of you have been wounded before. You know, you've experienced some sort of pain. Um, but I do feel like you are healing from this. You're finally leaving this in the past, this pain that you've experienced. I do feel like some of you for a little while were very trapped in this pain. And now you're really starting to move forward. It's beautiful. Temperance. I just get a very general sense of understanding coming from you, like understanding of self. I feel like you're starting to understand yourself more, understand why you do things or, you know, why certain things have happened to you, being understanding of others, but more so being understanding of yourself. I feel like you're, you're starting to walk away from those really harsh judgments that you used to place on yourself. Three of swords, I mean, three of cups. Yeah, some of you could, you know, be reuniting with somebody here. Some 
someone who brings you lots of fulfillment. Very, very strong soulmate energy, guys. I have the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, the Lovers, the Sun and the Moon. You know, so if this applies to you, congratulations. But if not, you know, just take it another way. This can also mean a family situation with this Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. I do feel like some of you may be mentoring a child or something like that. That's something that I'm picking up as well. Or helping a child get through some sort of phase or situation. Or you're, you may be helping a parent, could, you know, could go both ways. But I just sense this energy of just general fulfillment. You're feeling really good in the month of November, you know what I mean? It's almost like you have no worries. You got love on the brain, you know? And whether that's love for a particular person or just love for everything, including yourself, you know what I mean? You just have this absolutely lovely energy about you, Aquarius, and it's really attracting good things to you. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are starting to heal a lot of subconscious things this month. A lot of things from your childhood is something that I'm picking up, like a lot of aspects of self that are developed through neglect or through abuse, you know what I mean? Lots of personality traits that can develop from, you know, a lack of proper and healthy parenting or just a lack of love, you know what I mean? A lack of understanding, a lack of affection, because maybe for a long time, you know, maybe a lot of you grew up with parents who weren't very understanding. You know, you might have grown up with parents who were very judgmental, maybe even abusive for some. I feel like some of you guys are definitely domestic abuse survivors. Something very strong in the home regarding pain and suffering that you're really going to be letting go of in the month of November. Like some of you guys might talk this out with somebody. I do sense a lot of communication, a lot of emotional, deep communication, guys, especially with this moon card. Like, there's some deep stuff that's going to come out in November. But it's all for the good of your soul, you know what I mean? It's all for healing and all for the betterment of your path. Let's see. I wasn't really feeling those two cards that flipped out. These are too many. I only need one card. Thank you. Justice. Like I said, I do feel like some of you are really seeking balance this month. You know, I feel like you're making really good decisions. You just have a really level head this month. Per usual, you know, typically Aquarius energies are very level-headed people. Um, you know, you tend to think Lots of like headspace energy, so you tend to think about things before you do them. Sometimes you might think too much, but I do sense that some of you guys are making really good decisions, you know, really good judgments this month. Lots of patience before making decisions as well, you know, putting your happiness over everything else, which is really good. Some of you are dealing with a water sign energy. Interesting. So some of you could be dealing with a very, very interesting. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, or Pisces, or a Scorpio, because I have all three signs on the table here. Um, I do feel like a lot of you are dealing with water sign energies just because I have so much water crowning, and then I have the King of Cups here. So if this isn't you, Aquarius, you know, if this isn't in your chart somewhere, you could definitely be dealing with somebody who has water in their chart. Maybe also a Libra as well, because I do have Justice here. Um, I do feel like there still are some secrets or some subconscious things because I do have the Seven of Swords, which is a very interesting card that I've pulled out because, you know, all of this other energy really contradicts the Seven of Swords, especially these two Page of Swords and Knight of Swords here. I feel like you're being very truthful. So this might not be you, Aquarius. This might be somebody around you who's not being very truthful. Let me see, let me pull another card, because I'm actually very interested in knowing what this Seven of Swords is. I'm having a hard time kind of figuring out the energy of it. There may be somebody who just like sneaks into your life. Ten of Swords, interesting. I feel like, so if you're not the one healing, 
You know, it could totally be, but it could be both of you if you're dealing with another water sign. Um, I feel like there's a little bit, you know, there's some deeper energy that's going on here that's not being talked about. I feel like somebody's hiding their feelings about something with this King of Cups. Somebody is hiding their feelings. That was such an interesting twist. I see this Seven of Swords as something that's not being talked about. So this can mean a lot of different things. This can mean literal secrets. This can mean deep subconscious fears, deep subconscious you know, anxieties, deep subconscious feelings, unresolved traumas as well. You know what I mean? I feel like it's more so of that. I feel like this is very subconscious because the moon is here. And especially with that four of swords. I feel like there's something here. I feel like somebody is leaving clues that there's something wrong. There's something like going on. This is either you or the person that you're dealing with. Um, and I feel like somebody's trying to talk about it, but the other person's like, no, 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 I don't want to talk about it. Or they'll like kind of, uh, what's the word? Kind of like shift the conversation elsewhere. You know what I mean? So I'm just hearing talk about it. Whatever that means to you, talk about it. Because somebody's not talking about something. And it is in a relationship here. Someone may want to sneak away with you is something that I'm hearing too. Like elope? Some of you guys might elope. I feel like somebody has secret feelings for you, Aquarius. Someone, yeah, someone here secretly wants a relationship with you. Interesting. So I'm going to pull you guys a yoga card. Ah, nice. Okay. Perfect. So you have Ragdoll. This is kind of the same as like standing forward bend, except for you just bend your elbows and you just hang there. Some of you might have a lot of tension, you know, in the neck and the heart. I feel like a lot of tension in the upper back, the shoulders, right? Because of the heart chakra. I feel like there's a lot of emotional dealings this month, lots of things in regards to the heart. So some of you guys might want to channel a lot of your energy there if you are a yogi yourself. You know, even if you're not, and you don't really do yoga, you can just do this when you wake up in the morning. You know, it's really not the art of a stretch. Because um, some of you are holding a lot of tension in your upper, you know, in your upper back, your upper spine, maybe even your neck, but mostly I'm feeling your shoulders, you know, um, and your, your chest too. Some of you guys really just need to like stretch your upper back. Some of you work in like the court system or you work um, in like a, a government official building and you may sit a lot as well. also hearing read between the lines whatever that means to you but that's what I'm seeing here Aquarius if you have any questions or if you'd like a personal reading feel free to let me know you can go ahead and DM me or email me as all my information will be in the description box below and feel free to subscribe feel free to check out my other videos I have vlogs I have other readings um, I do readings twice a month so yes um, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful rest of your month, Aquarius. Bye-bye.